Hello, this tutorial is to discuss about a Java program that takes a number as an input and prints its multiplication table up to 10. In the NetBeans software, we are adding a new class which is named as MUL table. So our main class is named as MUL table. In the MUL table, we are writing the main method public static void main. The main method takes an array of string as the parameter. In this program, we need to accept a number from the user for printing the multiplication table. For the purpose, we are creating a scanner object. Scanner object can be used to read the data from the console. So scanner requires the package to be imported. So click on that button which comes on the eighth line. So soon you can import the respective package. The package to be imported is java.util because the scanner class belonging to java.util package. System.out.print method can be used to print an information on the console. So we are printing an information right enter a number. Now by using a scanner object we can read the data from the user. So scanner object which we have created is named as sc and the method can be used to read an integer number is next int. So an integer has been read from the user and it is saved into the variable n. By using a for loop we can display the multiplication table. The multiplication table has to display from the value 1 up to 10. So we have initialized the index variable i as 1 and it keeps on increment by 1 and goes up to 10. In the system.out.println method, we display the multiplication table. So first we display the value of i. The plus symbol can be used to concatenate the different values while we are displaying. So next we want to display a string as multiplication symbol followed by the multiplicand which is the value of n and we again concatenate it with an equal symbol and finally we concatenate plus with the multiplication which is i into n. So first time i will be 1, so it will be 1 into n. The second time it will be i will be 2, so it will be 2 into n. Similarly, the last time it will be 10 into n. Execute and see the program output. So once we enter the number as phi, we can see that it display the multiplication table of phi from 1 to 10. Thank you for watching this video.